So Nintendo has had an odd habit with Kirby spin-offs the past few years. In particular, they really like them being available right as they're announced. And in Kirby Fighters 2 case, Nintendo accidentally leaked it themselves, put up the trailer a few days later and said, it's on eShop, go nuts. So a few friends and I bought it on a whim, and the results? Let's find out. Also disclaimer, while I did sample the minigame version of Fighters in Triple Deluxe, I didn't spend much time on it, nor the standalone version on the 3DS. So I'm basically going into this as a newish game altogether, okay? Okay. So what we got here is a 4 player platform fighter, using Kirby's main mechanics. I know Smash Brothers is the obvious comparison, but I get just as many Power Stone vibes from the Dreamcast as well. The goal is to deplete all of the other players life bars until you're the last puffball standing. You have a wide variety of abilities from previous games, many like Beetle and Bell coming back for the first time since the 3DS titles, as well as Bandana D, Gooey, Magalor, Meta Knight, and King Deity as unlockables. You have stages from throughout the series and several items to help swing the tide. But if you die, it's not the end. You come back as a ghost, and if you attack a player that's still alive, you can revive yourself and keep the fight going. After a match, you gain experience to level up that can unlock new abilities, costumes, stages, or items to be used in the single player mode. In that story mode, you team up with a buddy or a CPU and go through floors of fights in order to reach the top of a tower, the length being decided by what chapter you're on. When you win a fight, you can select a bonus to be added. They can be stuff like increasing your attack, HP, how much health refills after a battle, charge time for attacks, or stuff like huge point bonuses, making your computer teammates stronger, or trading in a skill for another, like making your health refills massive, but no food shows up mid-fight. In addition to that, you also have a solo arcade mode that puts you against 10 fights, very much like Superstar Ultra Helper the Hero, and of course, multiplayer modes both locally and the big addition to Fighters 2 online, with both random opponents or lobbies with up to 4 players. Now, as for the stuff I really enjoy, while I love a lot of the stage and music callbacks, it spans throughout the series like Adventure, Superstar, 64, and the 3DS titles. Even the training stage is straight up the tutorial from 64, which is awesome. Even small stuff like using the Superstar Ultra sprites as stage obstacles is a great bit of fan service. And hold up, is that 60 FPS? Star Allies and Super Kirby Clash only ran at 30 frames on Switch. I guess because it's a more simple game, they could add the extra frames. But it's much appreciated, and I hope that means future titles will go back to 60. Because I do miss it. It makes the game feel nicer to play. And the battling is so much fun. Kirby naturally lends itself well to this kind of game. But all the abilities and characters, along with the stage hazards and items, keep the battles feeling fresh and interesting every time, and are super chaotic. And one of my favorite reasons why is the whole ghost mechanic. Because not only do you have to worry about the other players that are alive, but you need to avoid the ghosts in order to not let them back in the game. And matches where everyone keeps finding ways to revive themselves? Oh. Oh, it gets so insane. So quick. It's awesome. You probably know where this is going, but Fighters 2 is best played with friends, and the online is such a big get for this. And while in random battles, I did have a few bad matches. But for the most part, and especially with friends, I'd say they ran decent to great. And especially with friends, I didn't run into any kind of latency issue or stuttering at all. And unlocking stuff comes fairly quick. Within a morning, I got all of the main collectibles, so don't worry too much. But I did have a few issues overall. Let's start with that online mode as a transition point. For randoms, it's only team battles. You can't do free-for-alls like you can with friends. Nor can you select a stage, which feels like an odd choice and makes random battles not as much fun. While team battles are still enjoyable, it's not nearly as fun as free-for-alls, where the game really shines at its best. And that transitions onto the single-player stuff because it focuses so much on the team aspects, since the story mode is exclusively 2v2. And even when you're by yourself in the arcade mode, you're still fighting teams and it's not free-for-alls. Yeah, for single-player they lean way too much on teams. Not to mention, single player is just kind of a massive grind. Mainly the story mode, where you need to keep playing matches to climb up the tower multiple times. And with the gimmicks for the fights being rather tame, this gets boring in no time flat. It's mostly on the last two chapters where the stat manipulation actually matters. It does add some strategy on what you can get because they really start to make a difference then. But part of me thinks that you should have gotten points to allocate the different stats, because you can either get small boosts or big boosts with very little consistency. 
Or sometimes you just get something not useful at all. You play this mode just to unlock stuff because the EXP you get here compared to the multiplayer is ridiculous. But after that 50 floor one, yeah, I doubt I'm touching story mode again. And besides that, that's all the game really has to offer right now, and it's 20 bucks. And just as a heads up, the game says that there's in-app purchases, it's referring to the eShop pages that I can send you for the other Kirby Switch games. As of now, there's no microtransactions, so I just want to clear that up. I'd say if you're just here for the single player stuff, unless you plan on doing Platinums for everything, I would wait for a sale because it's too much of a grind. And at that point, Super Kirby Clash might be the better option, since it is free to play. But if you got people to play with, and I don't mean randoms, I mean you and three other people you know, oh, absolutely worth the 20 bucks. This is so much pick up and play fun, and has just enough to make it worth coming back to. We're so keeping this for Twitch sub nights. It's great for now, but I really do hope they add more to it in the future with updates. Like new stages, abilities, if they put in a spectator mode, we're doing a tournament, full stop. Also, I can make this like Soul Calibur and go full Yoshimitsu Pogo staff. I think that alone might be worth it. Thanks for watching, I know this was a very fast video to make. If you liked it, hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support this stuff in the future, go to my Patreon. And uh, yeah, I got more work to do on a certain other video, so I'll catch you next time.